Welcome to Pex Podcast. Opex Market, a company that runs in the clothing world and makeup and hair and so much more, such as the brand Opex itself and Opex Clothing, Opex Blog, Opex News, and Opex Everything. Opex Market runs a blog, a news line, a joke line, a reading line, a poem line, and so much more. You can go to Opex Market and get discounts, free shipping on everything that you buy. Opex Market is a giving company. They donate every month. Opex Market does giveaway every month. And they give to people all around the world, whatever, whoever you are. Opex Market has different things from your skincare products, like your hair, your body bodies, which are all organic, no toxications and no chemicals. If you like to enjoy or have fun, Opex Market has something called Pexi. It's a social media platform where you can go and meet people all around the world. At opexmarket.com. Every order that you purchase are free shipping, which means you pay no money for any product that you buy. Everything is free shipping. And they have coupons and discounts every now and then, which works great for me and for anybody else. So if you'd like to know more about Opex Market, go to opexmarket.com. Please open from Pex Podcast. Today's episode will focus on names, meaningful names, what it means, and how names identify us as human beings and who we are. This episode is going to help you to understand that your name and how your name identifies you and portrays you has a great meaning of who you become to be. Your actions and your thoughts might be impacted by everything that you do. But your name also is a part of something that signifies who you are or the first things that people see. And you can redefine your name and change your name around and make even a greater name for yourself. And understand that whatever you do, not just has an impact on who you are, but also how you portray yourself to the world. Your name can be defined by you or redefined by you to make yourself into what you want to make yourself. So this is what this episode talks about and to help you become a better person and a better you as you go along. I am Prince Opal and stay tuned. Hello everyone, I am Prince Opal from Opex Podcast. And today's topic will talk about a name, the meaning of name and how it identifies you. A name, of course, is an identification of people and for people to recognize who they are or identify people as a common person. A name can also be something that not just what people call you or know you as, but something that signifies a person. The reason I have chosen this topic today is because I've realized that names plays a part in the human nature. If we humans do not have names to identify who we are, or we don't have names to signify who we are as people, then we can of course not identify ourselves. People have the habit of giving each other names, changing their names, nicknames. Or identifying themselves as a specific name. But your name signifies who you are. In culture, name is not just an identification. Sometimes it explains it's it explains a lifetime. Sometimes it describes a story or tells a story. Sometimes your name could be your heritage, your pride, where you're from. Okay? Names sometimes tell people where you're from. Names sometimes tell your history. It tells your background. It tells your past. Names sometimes have a reasonable meaning of why 
a person or a bloodline has chosen this name for you or if you're choosing this name for yourself and sometimes names have no meaning because people just name each other whatever they want to name each other if i name rock stone sea paper you know but in the real world name wasn't created just because people are given names or because they have no meaning no name were created because it tells a story okay Names are created because it tells a story. For example, praise, my name, praise, means thank, to give thanks. So, who am I giving thanks to? God, of course. And hope is actually my first name. But instead, I make hope, 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 my last name. Hope is an expectation. My mother names me hope. Um, not because she was expecting a baby, no. But because she was hoping to have another baby after she already had one in the past. So she named me Hope. It has meaning to her. She has a reason for giving me hope. It was something that she was expecting to have another child. Because um, according to the history, she told me that um, this is back a long time ago. That many people, adversaries or some family people think she cannot birth anymore. So she decided to give me hope because I was unexpected. But she was actually praying and expecting to have another baby. So she gave me hope. See, in a case like that, my name has a meaning. Not just to my mother, but to myself. Because she has a reason for giving me that name, hope. So praise hope. Thanking for this expectation that I have got. Praise hope. That's the meaning of my name. Another example is um, Bill Gates, okay? Bill, people say a dollar bill, two dollar bills, that's money, okay? Bill Gate. Gate is a door, okay? It could be a door, it could be an entrance, it could be an open way, it could be closed and it could be open. Bill Gates, of course, is known as one of the richest people in the world. Putting aside all his actions and his thoughts towards humankind and human nature, let's just focus on his wealth right now and how his money has to do with his name. His name is very meaningful to his wealth. You know, bill is money. Money means bill. And sometimes it could be, <laughs> this is very funny, it could be your light bill, <laughs> your mortgage bill. But in this case, I believe it's money. Because his name really identifies who he is. Gates, open doors, closed doors. Okay? Money, flowing, blessings, flowing. That's Bill Gate. His name has a meaning. And the meaning of, this, of his name actually identify him as who he really is. If he's a wealthy man and does have money. This topic is very important. This topic is to people. To understand that names are given to have meaning okay they're given to tell your story and have your past and have your reason and i've had conversations with a lot of people and when i have conversation when it comes to names they bring up this idea that all oh, names don't have meaning and they are absolutely right you know i've had a lot of names and i ask people what does your name mean and they tell me it doesn't have meaning and people tell me it doesn't have to have a meaning but if you really know the meaning and the reason why names actually exist names are supposedly supposed to have meaning they are given to you to identify something you get to tell somebody people something about you now people scramble words together to make a name okay they scramble words together to make a name. But those letters in those names are supposed to signify something. I've talked to different moms that, you know, about the names of their kids just to talk about names. And most of them don't have the reason why they give names to their kid. They just name their kid a specific name. Like um, Taylor. What does Taylor mean? Brianna. What does Brianna mean? You know? I cannot 
speak for everybody because my name has a meaning does not mean that everybody name has a meaning but this episode is just to let people understand that the reason why name exists is because they're supposed to identify you you have a meaning for living you have a purpose for living and you just might think your name doesn't have anything to do with you there's this story back a long time ago my grandmother told me before she passed god bless her soul she was a beautiful nice young intelligent lady she had no fear she was fearless she told me a story i was about 13 or 14 at the time no i wasn't 14 because she passed when i was younger i think about 12 yeah 12 or 13 at the time she told me of um a story of a young man his name was cutland cutland cutlass but it's an african dialect it's an african language but that's what it means in english and he ended up using the cutlass to cut off his father's head his mother died when he was very young he was a very angry man i guess he had some type of i don't know whatever he had but he was really angry and mad at his father and he took a cutlass and he cut off his father's head he was about 19 at the time but this was a very old story a long long time ago and my grandmother told me she sat me down i was young and she told me that name her meaning that was his name cutlass cutlass or cutland cutlass and he ended up using a cutlass to cut off his friend's head that's very sad that's not something that's 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 devious that's not even that's very negative so his name followed him his name proved himself his name identify him now not all names are bad i could give a name to my child my son or my daughter or somebody but that name has meaning okay the things that you say to yourself has meaning if you say something negative to yourself negative things are going to happen if you say positive things to yourself and you believe it okay you might not end up being the most positive person in the world but at least in your lifetime more positive things will happen than negative things because you're proclaiming those things into yourself and into your existence into your atmosphere so positive things are going to happen to you you speak word okay you speak sentences you speak phrases to you your friends or people around you it's going to come to pass because whatever you proclaim for yourself it's going to come to pass and that makes no difference between you saying something and you giving yourself a name. If you, if you believe that you are going to be this person that will never rise. And you name yourself, will never rise. You will never rise. Because that's what you give to yourself. Okay, I'm giving out this message because I want people to understand that you just don't name people to name people. Okay? When I was in school, I had a lot of names, <laughs> but that was in high school back in West Africa, Nigeria, because I went to school there as well. People gave me different names, and my names was uh, because I was a big girl while I was growing up, so they gave me different names, and most of the names is like more like thick, you know, chubby, stuff like that, but they weren't lying because I was thick and I was chubby, I was a big girl and that name followed me okay and i thought it was funny and i thought it was fun and even though some people do get offended by those names and things like that it wasn't something that i was offended by even though i was young or i didn't know what it means maybe that's why i wasn't offended but those names had meaning to me okay they had a reason for calling me that because even though i was young and big you weren't lying either right so your name has a meaning when you identify yourself, give yourself a meaningful name. Something that you can look back and tell your story. Something that you can identify yourself. And always be something positive. Okay? Something positive. You don't necessarily have to have the best name in the world. You don't have to be Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos. I'm pretty sure Jeff have a great meaning and Bezos have a great meaning. Okay? But you want to relate yourself with positivity. Things that are meaningful. And now you can do that. Start with yourself. 
you want to identify yourself as something good and if you want to identify yourself as something bad then welcome to your world it's your world right but bad things happen sometimes even when we don't expect it that's life bad things are always gonna happen good things are always gonna happen good bad the necessary the negative things are always gonna happen but whatever you proclaim to yourself their names their words they are in existence and they come to pass okay i clearly disagree that people should not name their kids or anybody names that has no meaning if it has no meaning then there's no meaning for it do not just name your kids the name name because it tells a story name because it has a meaning so that later on in the future in life you will have a story to tell every great meaning has a great identifier people even have good names and bad things happen to them right but the chances are that positive things will happen because you proclaim positive things don't just say i like thy name why do you like that name okay the name follows you it follows you it tells it tells where you are if you name yourself a thief are you stealing around are you are you taking something that doesn't belong to you if you name yourself a prostitute why do people call you that why do you call yourself that proclaiming good things to yourselves is very good there are many unnecessary names and unmeaningful names in this world that has absolutely no meaning. And yes, you probably disagree that all names don't have to have meaning and people still become successful regardless of their name. But as an identifier, your name played a long way and a part and a role in your life than you think and expect that they do. Okay? The first thing people do when they identify you is look at you your air or your face but then eventually your name has to be in the question they have to identify you somehow in west africa africa in general they give their kids meaningful name in case you want to do this estimate 75 percent of educated africans are intelligent people okay Africa is one of the most biggest place in the world that you will find intelligent people there are intelligent people all over the world even though Asians are very intelligent they do not compare with African people Africans are educated people okay and they are very intelligent a lot of them but just because it doesn't show in their economy standards. It doesn't show on their faces or their speech or their talks or their language or their actions. It does not mean they're not intelligent people. People are fond of judging people by where they look and where they live and how they survive. Then what's really going on? Okay, all of these things have to do with the government and, you know, the politics, people that are running, the leaders of the country. But if you eventually visit and learn about their culture, you would identify a lot of hidden talents in Africa. Nigerian be one of the most places that you find the most intelligent people in the world, Nigerians. And these people are Africans. Now, in North America, South America, Asians, Europe, Australians, there are a lot of intelligent people there as well. A lot of intelligent people in the world. Google this. Do research. Tell me if I'm lying. And I bet when they pop up, Africans, Nigerians, will be one of those people, the intelligent people. It's a fact. Okay? Even research, prove it. People prove it. Because it's real. Africa is a place where people give meaningful names to their kids. I have never met somebody in Africa that was raised and born in Africa that does not have a name that has meaning never I started to realize that name didn't have meaning until I came to America and then people started telling me that it's unnecessary and it was hard to me people tell me maybe it's because it's a cultural thing but it's not a cultural thing people have meaning they have a reason for naming their kids what they name them and the names they give to them 
Okay, they just don't name their kids. When people want to talk about ancestors and ancestors, they always have to go back to, you know, the founding fathers or history or what people have fought for or dignity or pride or sometimes even Africa. Okay, everybody go back and relate back to Africa and they, they, they find a lot of amazing things, a lot of great things there. And even in South America, North America, all around the world, everybody has a cultural thing. Everybody has a meaning. Everybody has a purpose. There is no man and no woman in this world that has no purpose. Even though a person or a baby could come into this world for a minute and die the next minute, I'm telling you, that specific soul plays a part before they pass away. They either tell a story, okay? Or they give remembrance or stand as example, some way or the other. Everybody plays a part in some way or the other. So your name has meaning. Your name has supposed to have meaning. Okay? For you that do care and do want to know, let's talk about the Incans and the Aztecs. The only way to communicate before that communication got better to languages and dialect was them drawing on the walls and portraying things and signaling with their hands and voices and making sounds with their mouth and humming and doing all kind of sound languages but it communicated okay and every little object everything they drew everything that they make and created had meaning to their culture and their pride let's talk about the war when people go to war and they have to face their enemies. They have to have signal. Okay? To to fight the opposite side. To overthrow the opposite side. And many times they do not talk. Because they don't want to give out the wrong message. They don't want to be caught. So they give sound languages. They give different sound. They make different ways and different communication to speak. Without actually speaking to each other. To overthrow the enemy. They practice and they learn. Okay, why does your name have to do with this? Because it all comes back from your ancestors. It all comes back from your past, from your history, from your founding fathers, from your foundation. They have a reason for using different techniques, even though technology wasn't in the world, and maybe that was the only way they could communicate. Modernization wasn't there then. But now that it is in the world, it's a better way to communicate. But since then, name has been having meaning. Because they have to have one way or the other to identify themselves and to prove to themselves and to talk to themselves. And name was one of them. Okay, pictures were one of them. So when you name yourself and you name your kids and you name each other, give yourself a meaningful name. So that when you tell your story, it just wouldn't be something meaningful. It will have a story behind it. What is Brie? Brie is Brie. What is Shinkan? Shinkan is just Shinkan. Okay, what is Tate? Tate is just Tate. Okay, if you ask me what is joy, joy has a meaning, right? What is peace? What is love? What is faith? Okay, what is what is intelligence? It has a meaning. You can't pick up names and scramble them together. And give yourself a name. But each letters in those names could mean something to you. Okay, let's say I name somebody Popo. P O P O. <laughs> just an example, just a random that just pop up in my head. I don't mean police, I just mean Popo. P could be precious, or could be original or originality. Okay? P could be people, and Ho could be outstanding. So when people ask me, what does Popo mean? Why did you choose that name? I will give them the definition and how it relates to my life, my actions, my speech, myself, and the things that I do. Okay? The name has a meaning. It's something that we should embrace. People always forget all about culture, lifestyle, ancestors, where they come from, their history, why it matters. They forget all about it. So they think everything doesn't matter anymore. But that's not true. 
we have more kids now that are just kids and act like I don't know how they act like and I don't want to say their name affect them I'm sorry but I'm not sorry because I have to believe somehow sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't okay you start calling yourself something and start proving yourself something by identifying a name and you start acting like those things you start acting like a specific thing that you call yourself if you call yourself a gang and a bully gang, you start acting like a gang, like a bully gang, because you think you have a gang or a bully gang. And you start approving your ego, and your ego will start to rise. Because you give your name, arising names, you start to arise with your name. Your name plays a big part, okay? Plays a big part in who you are. Sometimes, even though your name is not as great, you can define your name. If your name has no meaning, you can choose each letter in your name and define it for yourself. And when people ask you what it means, you tell them what it means. And they ask you why, you tell them why, and it's going to be meaningful and positive. That's how you bring positivity into life. This is the whole point of this message. Positivity. To have that positive atmosphere around you, with you. Okay? Well... I hope this message gets to you and let you understand that your pride, your culture, and your beliefs just didn't happen because it happened. It happened because it happened for survivor. It happened to make history. It happened that's how we got here. Okay? It happened because we've had people that has fought for us in the past. People that have stand up. People that has become founding fathers. That has beat wars and go to war. People that has fought for their dignity and their pride and their freedom. And their names are never forgotten because it plays a big part in our lives. That's why we're human beings. That's how we can survive this long. They've laid the foundation. We just build it up. Their intelligence have got us so far. Your name should be meaningful. Tate, you could choose T-A-T and rename yourself positively and start acting positively that's another way to go around and be better in this world when positive things are around you and you proclaim and you say it it's going to happen to you redefine yourself redefine your name redefine who you are so that's what names are they are bigger than this if you want to add more to these comments please do so if you want to add more to this episode please do so kindly do so you're very welcome, but just be positive. No negativity is allowed here. Comments below. Send us your messages if you don't want anybody to see it, or you have any questions at praisehopo at yahoo.com or praisehopo at gmail.com. Let us know your thoughts. Tell us what you're thinking. All right, comments below. You can also, if you're listening on our, on our website, we have um, a comment bar that you can record your messages and that way you just record it and people can just play and listen to it okay you can do that so comment below record your messages if you have to if this is our website and this is this if this is on youtube and you're listening on youtube just you know share like comment subscribe to our channel um follow us on instagram facebook we are on 96 social medias I tell people all the time they say how do we do it you just go in there and just sign up that's how we do it <laughs> So, um, follow us everywhere if you have to. Kindly, you can get updates on our channel that way. You can get updates when we have new episode. Tell your friends about it. Help each other out. Be positive and stay positive. That's the only way we can better atmosphere. Okay? And start doing the right thing and positive things around us. Positive things have, have a good outcome. It's always filled with joy. Keep that in mind. Um, you can also call us or text us at 404-254-9722 if you have any questions. Thank you for listening today. Thank you for taking your time. I'm very grateful. At the Pex Market family, we are very grateful. Thank you for listening to our podcast. I am Prince Opal from Opex Podcast. Come back again. Thank you. <music>
Hi again, this is Prince, and I hope this episode has helped you to become a better person. I hope you help you to understand that your names are very meaningful and it has a great impact on who you are or who you choose to be. Redefining your name is up to you. You can redefine your names. You can put up letters together and redefine your name. Even though you already have a name, you can pick letters in the words that's in your name, phrases of your name, alphabets in your name, and rename yourself and redefine yourself. Know that your name has a great impact on not just who you portray yourself to be, but who the world see you as. Your actions might be defined as your name and you can redefine anything, but that is up to you to do as you wish and as you please. But just understand that names are just not given to you to identify you, but it also plays a part of who you are and who you want to become or who you're trying to be. I'm Pris Opo. I hope this episode helped you to become a better person and, and learn so many more things about life and in life. If you have any questions, comments below kindly, please. Um, you can call us at 404-254-9722. Also, text us at this number. We're willing to reply and call you back. Um, if you want to leave a voice recording, to also leave a voice recording, you can do that as well. We would love to hear from you. Um, share, tell your friends, like, repost, love each other, support each other. Um, be great and be meaningful. I am Chris Opo from Opex Podcast. Thank you and come back again. Thank you.